Um, now, although there's evidence for God in many different fields of science, I'm going to limit my discussion today to um, physics and astronomy, two of the areas that I'm most familiar with. And so what I want to talk about first is evidence for the origin of the universe. Now, at the beginning of the 20th century, most scientists believed that the universe had always existed, that it was infinite in both space and time, that it basically was unchanging. And this idea, this model of the universe, was called the steady state model of the universe. It's a model that's philosophically appealing to many scientists because an infinite universe allows infinite possibilities. Even things that are very improbable can happen if you have an infinite amount of time. But observations over the last 70 or 80 years, beginning 70 or 80 year, years ago, began to show that the universe seems to have actually had a beginning about 14 billion years ago, and that all the matter of the universe was at that time condensed into a very small, a very dense, and a very hot region of space. And since then, the universe has, it, has expanded outward. It's somewhat like an explosion from which we get the name the Big Bang, but in fact, it's really not an explosion, because before um, the universe started, uh, we don't know that anything actually existed that we know of now. And when the idea that the universe had an origin was beginning to be developed in the 1930s, um, many scientists found this philosophically unappealing. Uh, the British cosmologist Sir Arthur Eddington wrote in Nature 1931, philosophically, the notion of a beginning of the present order of nature is repugnant. I should like to find a genuine loophole. It took an overwhelming amount of evidence for the Big Bang before it was finally accepted as a viable um, theory by the scientific community. And so what I want to talk about briefly are the three major evidences that led to the accepting, accepting of the idea that the universe had an origin about 14 billion years ago. Um, so those three evidences are um, the expanding universe, the cosmic background radiation, and the relative abundance of light elements. So I'll just briefly explain some of those. The first evidence for the origin of the universe is what we call the expanding universe. Scientists say that the universe started from a singularity. Now the first observational evidence of this came in 1921 when Edwin Hubble, um, who the Hubble te Space Telescope is named after, began to observe galaxies. And what he observed is that the farther the galaxies were from us, the faster they were moving away from us. Um, this is sometimes called the raisin bread pudding, or the raisin bread model, and here it is. As raisin bread would rise, the raisins will get farther and farther from each other. So no matter what raisin you live on, which would be a galaxy, it appears that the galaxies are moving away from you. And the farther the galaxy is from you, the faster it's moving away from you. And so if you ran the film backwards, you would come to a point when all the galaxies and all the matter, when actually all the space in the universe was condensed into a, a small hot region. Um, a dense hot region actually would be a better way of saying it. So this observation from Hubble uh, got the idea rolling that indeed the universe seemed to have, have had a beginning. The second piece of evidence for the origin of the universe is the cosmic background radiation. Uh, physicists had realized from the 1920s that a universe that expanded from a beginning would in initially be very dense and very hot. And in 1948, two physicists, Ralph Alpher and uh, Robert Herman, predicted that if the universe started in a hot big bang, that there should still be some residual heat or some radiation left over from that initial state. Consider this example. Um, all right. Suppose that you were to turn on your oven, and after a while, you were to let the oven get really hot, and then you were to open up the door and let the heat dissipate throughout the room. After a while, because the, the oven was initially very hot and the heat was in one small area, eventually the room would become hotter. And this is what we would expect if the universe started in a hot Big Bang. You would still get this afterglow, this residual heat or radiation from the initial Big Bang. In 1964, two scientists at Bell Labs, uh, Robert uh, Wilson and Arno Penzias actually discovered this heat from the beginning of the universe. And this is what we call the cosmic background radiation. 